Hello everyone, this is Ashish Sani from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to my channel. Once again, I am back with another video on Rasa 2.0 series. And in today's session, I'm going to show you that how you can migrate your project from the previous versions of Rasa, which can be like 1.1x series, to the latest version, which is Rasa 2.x. So that can be any version. So why do we need to migrate from the previous version to the latest version? Just because, as we have already discussed in the previous videos, that there are so many changes from the series 1.x to Rasa 2.x series. And that is the reason we don't want to start everything from scratch in the latest version. Instead, we must have an option how we can migrate it from the previous version to the latest version without making much efforts. So that is the reason I am back with this video in which I will show you how you can migrate your project from Rasa 1.10 to Rasa 2.x. So this is all that we will be covering in today's session. Now let's not waste time and let's see how you can do that part. So now you can see on your screen, this is a project which I already have with me and this is a project uh, with Rasa version 1.10.8. So I'm working on this project, I'm working on this version and now I will show you that how you can migrate this version to the latest version of Rasa 2.0. So this is all that we will be covering in today's session. Now for that, you can see in here in data, this are like nlu.md and stories.md so this is all about it and as you have already seen in my previous video where I have shown you that in the latest version of Rasa you have this as the .yml files which means you don't have any md files in your latest version so that is the reason we don't want to do everything from scratch and also we don't want to write all the data all the stuff that we have written for the NLU and we don't want to write the same thing uh, in the latest version in the newer way so we don't want to do that instead we want to just migrate that from the previous version to the latest version and for that let me show you how you can do that part so for that firstly just open the terminal for the current location or let's say for the current directory where you have your complete project right so now you can see I have opened the terminal and on the terminal I am on the current directory where I have this project. So this is the location for that right and on the current directory you will find that these are the different files and directories that I am having with me and in here there is a directory or let's say this is an environment directory where I am having all the packages required for your project. So let me just activate that first and you know how to activate that and in Ubuntu you know we have to activate that with this source command and if you're using the Windows version you know how to do that part just because I have already shown you in my previous version that how you can do that part right so this is all that you can do but still if you're not getting how to do that then don't worry I will leave a link in the description where I have already written everything like all the commands related to that part so you can check that and uh, get started so let me just activate that All right, so you can see I have activated the VENV environment in which I have all the dependencies and now I can check that as well, right? So I will simply type like pip list and in this I can see, uh, let me show you uh, where it is. So you can see this is the version of your Rasa which is 1.10.8 and this is the version which I'm using right now but I want to migrate it to the latest version right so for that what exactly I have to do it firstly I have to migrate the version of your Rasa 1.10.8 to the latest version of Rasa and also I have to upgrade the files or let's I have to update all the files as per the new version because there are so many changes in that syntax as per the YML file right so this is all that you have to do so first command is to upgrade all the dependencies upgrade the versions of all the packages that you are using right now so for that you have a very simple command it's like pip install and hyphen hyphen upgrade which means you want to upgrade what you want to upgrade uh, you want to upgrade rasa so press enter now and now it will start upgrading all the packages that you have with you and it will upgrade the version for that as per the latest version and as per the dependencies and the 
requirement that is actually needed so for, as for the compatibility it will install all the packages and we can further uh, start with the latest version for the upgrading process so let it finish first All right, so you can see now you have all the dependencies installed and you have all the packages upgraded to the latest version. And also you can check that with the simple command again, like with pip list. All right, so here you can find again, where is Rasa? C, Rasa 2.2.2. .2. So this is the latest version which I'm uh, currently having, right? So this is just because of the command which I have just run and as per that now I have upgraded all the packages all the dependencies to the latest version of Rasa. So this is all that I have done and you know that this is not enough for your project to completely migrate from 1.10 to the latest version just because in Rasa 2.x series there are a lot many changes in terms of the syntax for your data that you have to provide for your NLU and code so both the things are different and both the things are having a different syntax so as per that now let's do the next thing which is to convert the data and for the conversion process what you have to do you have to simply write the next command which is like Rasa data convert and in this case you have to convert two different things and that is first is the NLU second one is uh, the core third one is NLG NLG we don't have in our case right now so that is the reason we will only convert NLU and the core data so as per that right now I will convert the NLU data right so for that in what format I want to convert it so for that simply write hyphen F and the format will be YAML which means you want to have a YML file right and after that you have to specify that where you have your data that you want to convert uh, to the YML format and I have that inside data you can write directly data or also you can write it like this like you have it on your current directory right so this is how you can enter the path and after that out which means where you want to uh, store your data after the processing of your uh, data so for that simply write data because right now I want to have the data onto the same directory where I'm having rest of the data right so this is how I'm doing it and with this command what it will do it will convert your NLU data to the latest version or let's say it will convert the NLU data in Rasa 1.10 to the Rasa 2.2.2 so this is how it will do. Now press enter and wait for it to convert your data. So you can see converted NLU file data slash NLU.md and that has been converted to this. So this is how it has converted your previous data of previous version to the latest version. So this is how it has done that and skip the file just because that is a part of a core. So that's why it has just skipped that and now we can check that. To check that just go to data and inside that it has created a new file which is nlu underscore converted so just open it up and you will see the changes as per the latest version can you see in the previous version of rasa you are not supposed to write the data in this format instead that is written in a different format right and now you can see it has created the data as per the latest version of rasa right so that is why you have all your NLU data written in this format, right? So this is all about this. This is all about the NLU part. Similarly, you have to convert your core data, which is stories.yml or let's say which is stories.md. You also have to convert that. And for that, you have to write the same command again. Just the thing is you have to make changes over here. Instead of NLU, you have to write code. So now what it will do, it will convert your MD file to the YML file and the location for your stories.md is the same that we have specified for the LLU part. So this is how we can use the same command. Now press enter. So can you see your file has been converted and this time we have converted stories.yml or let's say stories.md file 
to stories underscore converted dot yml file so this is how we have converted that and now we can check this as well now just open it up can you see this has created or let's say this has uh, updated the story as per the latest version as per the latest syntax that you have to write so you can see these are the stories and it has upgraded that as per this right so this is the way how you can upgrade the stories right and now i am up to this point and i think i don't have to make any changes to the domain.yml file right now because as for my project i don't have to make any further changes and also there are not much changes as per the latest version because in the latest version also we have the same yml file in the previous version also we have the yml file so that is the reason you don't have to migrate it but in the configuration file you have to migrate your data just because there are so many changes and what are those changes i will let you know just let me open this file first okay so you can see this is the configuration file as per rasa 1.10.8 and in there you can see this is a name for your policy which is form policy but as per the latest version of your rasa you don't have to write form policy for that instead you have to specify rule policy right so based on that you will be able to migrate your project and also it will migrate everything and to migrate all these things to migrate the names whatever has been changed as per the latest version we also have a simple command that will help us to upgrade the data from 1.10 to 2.2.x right so this is what i have done uh, now just go back over here and what is that command that will help you to migrate that and that is rasa data convert and what we have to convert that is configuration file right so you can simply write this command rasa data convert config now press enter and wait for it to upgrade all the policies and pipelines which you have uh, in previous version to the latest version so wait for it okay so you can see in here uh, that the file has been migrated and you can see like migrating the mapping policy finish migrating and everything so everything has been changed as per that now you can go back again and you can check for the configuration file that is there any changes made or not so let's wait for it okay so you can see there are so many changes that it has made and right now i think uh, form policy has not been changed and let me see what happened over there and also if you are not able to understand this part you can go to the official website of rasa there it has also specified that if in case this doesn't work how you can make the changes right so this is how the domain file is this is how rules.yml is right so there are all the things that has been specified over here and in case uh, let me show you where is this uh, You can see rule policy so this is what you have to specify so if in case that is not working for you just copy this and you can change this on your own manually right so just paste it like this you can save this and I think rest of the things are not needed to be changed because most of the things are very common and I can directly use them right but if in case that are required you can check this link and you can uh, make the changes as per that and don't worry about the link i will leave the link in the description so that you can check it and you can make the updates as per the requirement right so this is all about this and right now rest of the things are not needed so let's leave it like this and the next step is to go back to the directory or let's say to go back to the terminal where you're working right now and just because i have made all the necessary changes for the migration process now the next thing is to just 
train your model and to test that whether your Rasa project is working as per the latest version or it is still working as per the previous version. But hopefully it will work as per the latest version just because we have verified that we are working on the latest version now, right? So let me just train it and then we will uh, verify it, right? So let it finish now. All right, so now you can see that the model has been trained as per the latest data that we have provided, right? So you can see NLU and core both has been trained as per the new data set that we have provided, right? Now to test that, let me just open Rasa shell and let's verify that whether it's working or not. So let me just talk to the bot now. So run this simple command Rasa shell. Okay, so you can see now we can talk to the bot. So simply say hi. So it will say, Hey, how are you? So let's say fine or whatever it is. So in case of fine, it will simply say like great carry on. But if in case you will say no, then it will definitely show you that uh, here's a link to cheer you up, right? So this is how we have done that. And just to make you clear about this part, I have installed the previous version and then I have shown you how you can migrate that part. But if you already have the existing project with you with the previous version, then you can apply the same thing over there and you can see that how it will work, how it will uh, simply make you migrate from the previous version to the latest version. And you don't have to make much efforts to uh, run the same project from the previous version to the latest version. So this is how we can simply migrate your project from the previous version to the latest version. And now I hope everything is very clear to you, but still if you're facing any difficulties in this topic, then feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section. And also if you have liked this video, then do click on the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any videos from my channel. Till then, bye-bye and happy learning.